Hey everyone, welcome to Nerds Talk. I'm Mike and today we're doing a live reaction to the mini Nintendo Direct that surprise dropped today. Uh, unfortunately, Chris couldn't be here today uh, due to the whole crazy outbreak that's happening around the world with COVID-19. Um, he's got some stuff he's got to take care of at home and so uh, we'll be doing a joint um, collaboration video on our thoughts on the presentation on a separate video but for tonight it's going to be my live reaction uh, as to you know how I react to the news what I like what I don't like um, and yeah we'll have that here for you guys so I'm going to pretty much get right into it um, yeah so it, it is a mini direct I'm kind of shocked that it wasn't a full direct why they're holding some of it back to a later date kind of seems odd um, yeah, I mean, it is a digital presentation and, you know, Nintendo, this is the latest they've ever been with, in, with regards to a proper Nintendo Direct. And even this isn't a full length 40 minute or an hour length one. It's it's a 20 minute or 25 minute uh, mini Direct. So I guess they're, they're saving some big announcements still for another date. I don't know if they're going to wait till E3 at this point, but it seems like a really, really slow year for Nintendo other than the big Animal Crossing drop that happened uh, last week. Um, we're kind of have nothing don't know kind of what's coming out anytime soon so hopefully this mini direct will drop enough hints of kind of what to expect at least from now until e3 and then a big blast for the rest of the year so we'll get right into that so with that being said um let's jump right into it and see kind of what we got going on today oh and there you go they discuss covid19 release dates and other information presented in this video are subject to change uh hearts to go is impacted okay so i guess some release dates could be impacted i guess we'll have to wait and see what it is we'll intro music long ago two great titans came into existence okay the bionis and the maconis xenoblade the Titans were locked in a timeless battle. Never played a Xenoblade game, but I'm gonna guess that's what it is with these giant Titans. Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Yeah, it seems like it could be it. Yep. So this is the Wii U port. Redone for Switch. Huh? In the sky! This can't be! No way. It's a... Mechon! Commence the assault on Violis. Hmm. The Monado. It's the only sword that's effective against the Mechon armor. If we could just unlock the Monado's power. It does it's look prettier. Shulk! No! It'll kill you! Shulk! There was something strange. It was as if I could see into the future. A lot of yelling. I believe this, but Shulk can see the future. I didn't know you could do that. It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. And so it begins. The resurrection of the Bionis. I've been waiting for you, Monado boy. The future I see, it isn't set. Mania. So I can use this power to change the future. And that's exactly what I intend to do. Mechon. It's not over. The people of Bionis will never let you triumph. This will drop before E3, I think. Well, E3's been cancelled, but yeah, there we go, May 29th. So before the June time frame. Give another big game, I guess, for Nintendo. Oh, Future Connected. Is this DLC? Or expansion or something like that. If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. In Smash Bros. vibes. Dark the on. ultimate version of a modern classic, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. On Nintendo Switch, the game looks better and plays smoother than ever before. The battle HUD and menu screens are easy to read and easy to use. And some of the music has been re-recorded. 
Okay. And can fully immersed in the majesty of this vast world. Interesting. And a new epilogue, a new story. Oh, epilogue. Future okay. Connected will cap off the main game. So it's like so some played and DLC story. The original game, you can not only revisit it, but look forward to one more adventure with Shulk. Good thing I came prepared. We'll probably be needing this. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition launches on May 29th. Okay. And you can pre-purchase the game starting today. Also, coming on May 29th, the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Works set will pack in a 250-page art book. Okay, for the Xenoblade friends. Hi everyone, and welcome to Nintendo Direct Mini. We've got news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we're focusing on a selection of them coming out this year. Now, let's roll through some headlines, shall we? Three of 2K's most beloved series are coming soon to the Nintendo Switch system. Three. Okay. Basketball for sure. Okay. So we got Bioshock. Okay. Borderlands. Okay. Yeah. An XCOM. Okay. I was thinking when they said 2K, I was thinking it was going to be like uh, NBA 2K, whatever. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Old enemies face off in a new trailer for the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order Expansion Pass. Makes sense. Doctor Doom and the Fantastic Four. You are no match for Doom's power. Richards. Human Torch, Invisible Woman, Two Storm. We have a universe to save. That's fantastic. You are wasting your time, fools. Doom always prevails. Shadow of Doom. Okay. In the darkest depths of the ocean lies a really fun game. You are the last of the human race, forced by global winter into an unexplored aquatic world. In this deep sea exploration game, you'll collect resources to upgrade your gear, craft items, and dive deeper into the abyss. Okay, so Metroidvania underwater. As you so, like, explore into the deep. hostile environments, you better watch those oxygen and pressure levels. And if that's not challenging enough, Shinsekai's Time Attack Mode, Another Dive, boasts a perilous maze for you to race through, culminating with a final monstrous threat. You know, it can get pretty heavy down there, so why not lighten the mood with the jukebox feature? It lets you remix the game's background music by modifying audio filters. The time has come to discover the truth hidden beneath the ocean's surface. When Shinsekai Into the Depths launches on oh. Nintendo Switch today. Okay. Sounds good. Live your best deserted island life thanks to this free update. 
Enjoying island life in the Animal Crossing New Horizons game? Well, whether you're already living it up on the island, or you're still planning your departure, there's an event coming up and we're happy to spill the beans. Er, crack the eggs? You see, after downloading the free update we made available at launch, One Zipper T Bunny will visit your island in celebration of Bunny Day in early April. Can you hunt down the egg's zipper head everywhere? Plus, you can craft these special limited time items from the egg series. The Bunny Day event only comes once a year, this time from okay. April 1st to April 12th. So All be days. sure to participate. And guess what? There's another free update coming later in April. It'll usher in some newly added features, including the Earth Day event. Mm. Of course, we'll continue to bring you the latest on updates and more via the official Animal Crossing Twitter account. New events. And other channels, too. So, stay tuned. They already announced this back in the Animal Crossing new, uh, Direct. We hope you enjoy the updates and everything else about your life on the deserted island. Hey, look! Someone's hiring! <clears throat> okay. Oh, this is your dad's company? Apparently, they offer a wide range of services. The job description entails many responsibilities. You'll deliver items. Mop the floor and maintain a comfortable work environment. They're trusting you with crane operation and other tough tasks. Uh-oh, that projector won't do. Hmm, think you can take care of that? Whether you conduct yourself in a professional manner or opt for more creative solutions, <laughs> do what you need to do to get the job done. That's cute. Hopefully, you're ready to join the team and be put to work immediately. Because good job launches today. Build now. Nice. Another shadow drop. Okay. Catherine, full body, the mature action adventure puzzler, is coming to Nintendo Switch. Contemplating the next step in his relationship, commitment phobic Vincent finds himself pulled into the allure of a new love. Looks like poor Vincent's caught in a love quadrangle with Catherine, Catherine with a C, and Rin. Little does he know, temptation might lead to his own demise. In this cult classic, your choices will affect how their relationships unfold, and it only gets weirder. Deservedly, not only is Vincent riddled with guilt during the day, he's also not sleeping so soundly. Every night, his nightmares consist of a crumbling tower of puzzle blocks that he must climb in order to survive and see another day. Find out if love is over for our troubled bachelor in this dark, intense, and intoxicating story when Catherine Full Body releases on Nintendo Switch July 7th. Okay. The remake. The update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will pump up its audio. Hmm. Oh, Dead Sense Revolution style? Yep. Oh, nice. Smart Odyssey. Okay. Mix things up with the new rhythm game mode. If you want to set a high score, you got to get your body moving to the beat. Speaking of, there are 17 music tracks in the rhythm game. We're talking music from Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. On top of that, Your companion, Ring, will now have a female voice option. Nicely done! Move! And guard! And you'll also be able to change languages. Feel free to change it up in the settings whenever you want. We're also adding in a new jogging option in both the custom and quick play modes. When you're not in a battling mood, you can simply run through a variety of fields. This free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will be yeah, available no. today. Okay. Better open the gates. One treasured TRPG approaches. Since 1990, the King's Bounty series has been influencing the evolution Never of the RPGs. Never heard of King's RPGs. Bounty. And now it's back with a fresh look and a new approach. 
Okay. This straight up sequel will pit army against army, sending the player on a quest around the world to save the world. This time, the graphics are more realistic. Your choices matter more than ever. And so does the terrain you stand on. So master your surroundings like the master strategist you are. Across the Which land, doesn't speak to me. People whose ethics and affinities are informed by the new character development system. Find out just how deep the gameplay will get. I wonder if they'll announce the first new DLC Smash character. Give us a tease of who it is. Not expecting a release date, but at least a tease would be nice. Super Smash Here we go. Ultimate news Here we go, baby. Yeah. The fighter included in Wave 6 of the paid Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC will be... That's it? That's how they announce? Arms? But they... Join what? The battle from arms. Okay. This fighter is a bit unusual thanks to those extendable arms, so we'll have to extend our development time too. Please it can't be Springman because he's already a assist longer. trophy. The next fighter will be announced and released this June. Oh wow, okay. That's... Quite a ways away. June for the first one? We're gonna get six of them out in the year? This arms game trial. Okay. Free game trial of arms so it's gonna be Ribbon Girl then. Exclusively to Nintendo Switch Online members. These elite fighting superstars share one thing in common. Extendable arms. So equip super powered arms to create a slew of combinations. For a limited time, you can try out the full game for free. Now, let's get stretchy. Okay. Feeling good? Well, all right. Wow. Now how about we take a nice long look? That's crazy because Springman was um, assist trophy. You wouldn't think that they'd put Ribbon Girl as the main focus, but I guess we'll see. Where, where am I? Can't believe I survived. Final Fantasy. Crystal Chronicles. Fire, water, wind, earth, nature's masters. The great stone's power exceeds Bravely, the hand of Bravely man. default too. And if unleashed, would bring down death, disaster, calamity, and blight upon the land. Yeah, barely default too. Yeah. Heroes of light, may the crystals guide you. <laughs> Is the crystal's blessing. Man, where's Gino? Smash Ultimate, man. The roster will be complete with Gino. They gotta bring him in. Then I've done the right thing. And he's not an assist trophy, so let's bring him in. This tale unfolds on the continent of Excellent, home to five mighty kingdoms. The saga begins when our hero Seth, a young sailor, Washes up on the shores of one such kingdom. Well, at least I'm alive. Here, he meets Gloria of Musa, a princess who was forced to. I wonder to if they're going to use a bringing the fall character to jump into Snatch. Evil forces bent on stealing its crystals. You dare claim the crystals? You do not know their worth. He also encounters two travelers determined to decipher a mysterious and magical book Elvis and Adele. I have a certain special book to be deciphering. We're not friends or anything. I'm just here because he hired me. As if guided by fate, our heroes join forces and set off together on a grand mission, each filled with a sense of purpose. But there will be those who stand in their way, those who have gotten hold of special items known as asterisks. These stones allow their holders to take on jobs, such as Thief or Black Mage, becoming infinitely more powerful in the So process. I'm guessing they're going to shadow drop, um, not really okay, shadow drop, but uh, release the uh, ARMS character during the E3 presentation. They'll say it's available now. It's more than likely going to be the case, and then they announce the next one, but... You must decide when to use Man. Brave Points or BP, the lifeblood of the game's turn-based system. The key to victory lies in knowing when to use the Brave and Default commands. Choose Brave to spend BP in order to allow characters to perform additional actions. Choose Default to order a character to guard, reclaiming a BP in the process. 
Strategically hold back or take multiple actions in one turn. To make the right choice, you must consider your character's roles and statuses at all times. Should you manage to fell an asterisk holder, you will acquire their asterisk, allowing you to take on the associated job. Jobs can be combined at will, greatly expanding your strategic options and influencing the development of your characters. <laughs> I'll take that. Now for a little announcement. A demo version of the game will launch today. Good for you. And in the near future, we did it with Octopath. We got a lot of people hooked. To gather feedback and incorporate what we can as we finalize the game. I'll probably give it a go. I like Doctor Path Traveler. I thought it was a great game, so I'll uh, probably give this demo a try and let you know what I think. This year, no date. Okay. Hope you're having fun. Let's keep this good news train a moving. <clears throat> Tabletop classics from around the world. Will okay, come board games. On Nintendo Switch. Othello. Backgammon. Billiards. Alright. Hmm. Presenting every single game included in this massive new collection <laughs> of fun from around the globe. Menkala, Hanafuda, Backgammon, Renegade, Checkers, President, Call Dominance, Renegade Speed, Hell. Hair and Hounds, Blackjack, Four in a Row, Four in a Row Chess, instead of Connect Four, Shogi, hilarious. Mini Shogi, Ludo, Richie Mahjong, Sevens, Golf, Darts, Texas Hold'em, Nine Men's Morris, Air Hockey, War, Carom, Chinese Checkers, Yacht Dice, Takoyaki, <laughs> Billiards, Hex, Spider Solitaire, Gomoku, Matching, Bowling, Shooting Gallery, Slot Cards, Dots and Boxes, Hit and Blow, wow. Pig's Tail, Mahjong Solitaire, Last Card, Fishing, Klondike Solitaire, Toy Tennis, Toy Soccer, Toy Curling, Toy Boxing, Toy Baseball, Battle Tanks, Team Tanks, Sliding Puzzle, and Six Ball Puzzle. Phew! That really is 51 games. Wow. And there are many ways to play them. Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people, playing via local wireless, and in some cases, online play is supported too. Choose three games, match up with other players, and just play. Play to your heart's content against rivals the world over. When Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics launches on Nintendo Switch June 5th. Okay. Pre-purchase begins today. I wonder if that's going to be a full price game. Will the real Master Ninja please stand up? Oh, so you're the ultimate ninja, are you? Looks very well, Splatoon then, vibes. Prove it in battle. As one of eight players, you must earn the most points to claim victory. Sprint across stages. Hmm. And show off your gum ninjutsu like only you can. By chewing ninja gum, you can dash at high speeds. Disguise yourself. This is very Splatoon vibes. And wield an arsenal of skills. And speaking of arsenals, from heady hitting hammers to fast and flashy katanas to tactical tricked out yo-yos, your choice of equipment could mean the difference between domination and defeat. Ninjas thrive in clans, so cement your supremacy in four-on-four -four team battles that prove ninjas are most clever when they work together. Will your efforts end in gummy disaster? Or prove you're the master? When Ninjala sneaks up on Nintendo Switch May 27th. And hey, it's free to play too. Oh, okay. Check out what you can play on Nintendo Switch. Enter Luke mm -hmm. Skywalker's Jedi Academy to learn the ways of the Force. I like the upgraded role, graphics. It looks great. Play a role in this Star Wars story and battle online with up to 16 players. Nice. Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy launches on Nintendo Switch today. And get ready to strap in because Star Wars Episode One Racer is coming soon. Nice. In this remade dragon riding classic, you'll pilot the blue dragon through incredible landscapes, battling giant creatures and lethal battleships. 
Using 360 degree control, I played Jedi Academy, Jedi Outcast back on the um, it's your Jedi Outcast, Jedi Academy back on the Xbox. Used triumph. to be an exclusive. When Panzer Dragoon played Jedi Outcast 2 on the GameCube. A timed console exclusive today. There's a lot more coming to Nintendo Switch. We got the nice highlight reel here. Yep. Random game. Elder Scrolls Blades, okay. Warhammer. Okay. Trials, Trails of Cold Steel 3. Mr. Driller, Drill End. Okay. Minecraft Dungeons, yeah. Well, it's been fun, but today's Nintendo Direct Mini isn't over yet. Mm -hmm. This is our last news of the day. This is the one more thing. Now oh, for okay. the latest information on the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. With an expansion pass, the world of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games will grow. The sprawling island in the sea, the Isle of Armor, and the frozen snowscape known as the Crown Tundra will be accessible in the Galar region. It's a new adventure to embark on with new people to meet along the way. Today we have some follow-up information about part one, the Isle of Armor. On the Isle of Armor lies a dojo for Pokemon battles where trainers gather to master their skills. And if you train at this dojo, you will receive the legendary Pokemon, Cub Fu from the master, Mustard. Through your training with Cub Fu, you will receive permission to challenge the Towers of Two Fists on the Isle of Armor. In this challenge, you will enter one of two towers, the Tower of Darkness or the Tower of Waters. You may only choose one, and you and Cub Fu must face this challenge alone. And that's how it'll evolve. Once you've conquered one of the towers, Cub Fu will evolve into Urshifu. If you choose the Tower of Darkness, it will learn single strike style. But if you choose the Tower of Waters, it will learn rapid strike style. Dark or water, the choice is yours and yours alone. Beyond that, the evolved form of your partner Pokemon, be it Rillaboom, Cinderace, or Inteleon, will gain a Gigantamax form as a reward for your adventure on the Isle of Armor. So let's take a look at each Pokemon's Gigantamax form moves. Beating a giant drum and controlling its roots, it's G-Max Drum Solo. Kicking a giant ball of fire to deliver a powerful shot, it's G-Max Fireball. And blasting the opponent with water from 130 feet up, it's G-Max Hydro Snipe. These moves are stronger than Dynamax moves, and when used, the opponent's abilities have no effect when they're attacking. Interesting. In addition to new outfit items and hairstyles, there will also be new league card backgrounds, effects, and frames. Now you'll have even more customizations to use to show off your personality. Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass Part 1, The Isle of Armor, will launch end of by June. the end of June. Okay. Also, for those of you who purchased the Expansion Pass, we've prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive by August 31st. Starting today, during Max Raid Battles in the Wild Area, you'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Caparaja and Duraludon in Pokemon Sword, and Garbodor and Charizard in Pokemon Shield. Battle with other trainers to take on this challenge together. 
That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Mini. Thanks for watching. Wow, the ending with an actual like outro. All right, so there you have it. Um, some interesting uh, announcements there. Definitely didn't expect an ARMS character to be the next one after having uh, Springman as an assist trophy, but there you go. Um, I guess they're going to go with Ribbon Girl as the um, as new fighter, add another female to the roster. Um, we, we know that we already have spirits of the other characters, but if they do release one of the ones that have a spirit as the fighter, then we know that any character that has a spirit could potentially become a new fighter. So again, Gino's chances go up. Um, not to mention that he's one of the most popular third-party characters at this point. Um, or I guess second party is kind of it's owned by Square, but also it was exclusive to Nintendo games. So. Um, and on the Nintendo ballot, it was uh, one of the top most voted characters to be included. So with that being said, I really hope his chances are high. Um, but uh, if it turns out to be actual Springman, that means they're going to remove him as an assist trophy, which makes me wonder, are they going to replace him with someone else as an assist trophy or just remove the assist trophy from the game? If that's the case, it makes me wonder, can they do that with any other assist trophy like Shovel Knight? Sean, um, could, could he appear as a character? A lot of people wanted him to be a character. So I'll be interested to see kind of where we go from here. But um, instead of me going into all the special games that I'm most excited about, we're going to save that for another video once me and Chris can connect and actually do that together for you. Uh, but there you have it, folks. That's my live reaction to this particular Nintendo Direct Mini. Some cool uh, announcements, uh, some surprises. And uh, yeah, uh, it would have been nice to kind of get a heads up on Nintendo saying that this is coming. Give us a day or two notice instead of just showing up, you know, on the day of. It was kind of odd. But um, I'm glad we got some shuttle drops for today. Gonna definitely check out some demos and uh, get back to you with the news. So, uh, with that being said, uh, if you'd like to support our channel here at Nerdstock, please uh, subscribe to our channel. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. Uh, shoot us an email at nerdstockinfo at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you and any other ideas that you'd like us to cover from game news to movies to anything in nerd culture. Uh, and as always, friends, stay nerdy. <laughs>